What's going on everybody, Computer Guy Chris here, and as any of you know who have been following my channel, I just completed my second to last semester in Georgia Tech's OMSCS program. Now last semester I took two courses, CSC 6242 Data and Visual Analytics and CS 6400 Database Systems. Now, both of these classes had big projects throughout the whole semester, but specifically CSE 6242 had a submission that every student had to do. This submission was a video and poster presentation of what your project was and how you did it. Now, I thought it would be helpful to all of you to share my poster video. I scored a 100 on the video, so if you take this class, and you submit a poster of the quality of the video that I'm going to show, you should get the same grade or about the same grade. So if you like this content, like this video, it really helps with the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And now let's move on to the video. This is the final project poster for Team 22 on our Sentiment Technical Indicator. As new technology grows in predicting stock prices, the opportunity to gain a competitive edge in market analysis becomes available. Currently, Real-time technical analysis is used to evaluate price movement in the short term. An example of this can be seen on the right. As stock forums become more popular, the available sentiment data creates an opportunity to get an advantage in the market. However, sentiment data is very dirty and hard to work with. The project's goal is to create a sentiment indicator that can be added to an investor's strategy. On the left, we see the system's pipeline. First, sentiment data is collected from multiple Reddit threads, Google Trend data, and NASDAQ data and is stored in an AWS S3 bucket. Once collected, the text data is analyzed, given sentiment scores using Vader, and mined for stock tickers. Next, a time series of the data is developed and a bearish or bullish prediction is made for each stock using a naive Bayes analysis. Lastly, the data can be visualized and filtered through multiple visualizations seen in the lower left, a bar chart that shows the sentiment score for each stock, a line chart that shows the time series for each stock's price and sentiment, and a visual output of the naive Bayes prediction. Our system is unique in that it analyzes sentiment from multiple forms, gives the trader a bearish or bullish prediction, and has easily filterable visualizations to understand the data. Our sentiment data is collected from multiple Reddit threads. Additionally, NASDAQ and Google Trend data is also collected. Using Vader sentiment analysis and the NASDAQ stock list, we develop a sentiment data file. All files are stored as CSV files. The scrape sentiment data is made up of four parts, submission and comment data containing information about the post, author data containing information about the author of the post, and text data containing the actual text of the post. The developed sentiment data contains the analysis of each post sentiment and the identified tickers. Lastly, all data is congregated into a pandas data frame. Our system was tested in three ways. The system's ability to identify stock tickers was tested by analyzing 30 random lines from each day of a week. The test showed that the system had an 84% accuracy in identifying tickers. The system's bearish and bullish predictions were tested against the closing stock price. The results showed a 57% accuracy between the system's prediction and the stock's closing price. And lastly, the system's visualization was tested for ease of use by eight outside participants. The visualization received a score of 7 out of 10 overall, but 8 out of 10 when focusing on the team's target audience, small investors. The team feels it has achieved its goal of creating a new technical indicator that analyzes stock sentiment and can be easily integrated into a trader strategy. Thank you for watching.